So if there is a problem with regards to the way that things have been consulted, the council, as far as I'm concerned, the last couple of certain councils as they have, is my view is that we need to pause it. But we need to we need to get to the we need to get beyond the point that we're saying there's been a problem because we know that there's a problem. There's no of, there's nobody saying in this process. So for me, there's there's two things really coming on the back of this that was actually kicked off prior to today because we knew, and that is a formal investigation of the chief executive with regards to the operation of the consultation process. And the second thing is because there's there is another issue. An internal investigation within the council with regards to information that was provided inappropriately to the community, which is added to that, that confusion. So there's, there's two aspects there. We, we are clearly going to be asking for the Chief Executive to investigate both of those processes. So, now, ju just, so, so, so that, that's our view. Okay. Uh, that's our view. There's, there's no objection in regards to the <coughs> process. Not I'm there. comfortable, but do you feel, Mark, in speaking for your colleagues on the council when you say what you've just said? Well, with regards to what? I, I mean, that, that, that has been our... our, our the, 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 the two points you just made about inadequacy <coughs> of consultation, about the, yeah. uh, the, the, the studies to establish yeah. what the problem is so it doesn't repeat it, get repeated, but also your point about the, the fact that the application ought now uh, be suspended. No, I, I think we've got to be careful of what we're saying. The, the, the process, the application process, yeah. goes on and I think is effectively nearly complete. So the planning application process, however, that's only one of the processes that are in, that, that, are, that result in the delivery of a new building as part of that process. So what we would need to do is we need to ascertain, get to the... Get, understand exactly why that consultation process that wasn't clear. Yeah. But, and, and then understand, work with the community, and that's why we are yeah. here tonight, yeah. to work with the community to see what we could do to address the issues yeah. the community are yeah. probably yeah. 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 designing. I understand that. I think what, I think what people yeah. here tonight want, above everything else, is the fact that they want to hear somebody in authority say, this application is here with suspended. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The situation is that uh, you've, been, you've had a commitment that there will be a further consultation. Yes, and if you're not happy at the end of that period, yeah, yeah. Uh, then the plug will be pulled. Is that right? Well, we're we'll happy. We need to take the community with us. Yeah, you are. That, that, you know, so at the end of the day, we've, we've never started this process with a view not to. We've been let down, and I think uh, we'll make the uh, commitment. Uh, 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 we have it. We will. We will. We will make the commitment. Full <coughs> public disclosure and the investigations that are carried out with regards to how we've arrived at this point. Because I think you, as a community, deserve an answer to yeah, why this didn't happen. Who's going to do this investigation? Oh, 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 what's going to happen? That you'll have the small group, and, and that's what three weeks. And at that point, at that point, if the community is not happy, then we can stop the process and look at it a lot in a lot deeper depth. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll, I'll hold my hand up and I'll say, if it was up to me. I would stop it now, but I can see where Mark's coming from. I'm not stopping it. Well, I'm, I'm not proposing anything here. I'm saying that that would be my, my uh, that would be my judgment. If you just to stop it now, because I've got a feeling that when you go for this, uh, when you go to have a look at it, you're going to, you're not going to, uh, you're not going to accept it anyway. So, council. Uh, and the planners and the executives and Ian and anyone else who might be involved, if there's a chief executive who knows, they might be involved too. And then, and then they will make their comments and then there will be the next stage of the major consultation would be a, a, this group reconvening in three, in three weeks' time. In three weeks' time? Yep. That's a very, very tight schedule. No, hold on a second. Uh, is that generally acceptable? Yeah. yeah. No. Just no. 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 be confident. What happens if the near team and team? Well, you, you, it doesn't. You see, it doesn't go ahead. Doesn't go ahead. Doesn't go ahead. Doesn't go ahead. So, so just there's one principle that comes out here. We've got to do it together as a community, uh -huh. right? So everybody needs to be happy before we take it forward.
So there's been two investigations being launched. One into uh, conduct to some of the officers in the provision of information. And the, the second is on the lack of consultation that's been done during this process. Both of those are with the Chief Executive and uh, reports will come forward in the new year. So can I just say, folks, I, I'm going to put my hand up here. Eh? Five councils made a mistake. The Fife Coast of Country Trust made a mistake. And I'll put my hand up, me as a councillor's probably made a mistake as well here at the consultation period. Eh? But I just want to say that I would like this to go ahead for the, the best of the fact. I've been at several meetings with councillors and the board and whatever else. Eh? We've got what we've got. We've got £1.3 million, pounds, I think, is what's in the pot to go ahead with this. Eh? If, if we didn't go ahead at some capacity to do this, eh? we're in doubt of losing this. I work for the community as, as a and we want the best for the park. We'd rather lose it. No. You, you would rather lose it. Guys, we understand that people are a bit worried about this. You understand it, but nobody can trust it. People can bash on it. Can I ask you? 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 Can as honestly as I can, and I have no doubt that's what I'll continue to do. And as I say, it's scandalous that Faith Council's near the night. They should be able to answer the questions, and I'll do my best to answer them for you. What happens is, we've got to, we have held to account, as a local authority, we've got to go through a procurement process and a tendering process. So the process is, we work up the designs, we get a design, and then we take it out to the market to get best value for that design. That's what we have done. Now, I believe at some point, Someone went for the trust to speak to both for this and got additional designs worked up for additional building. I've never seen that. I've never seen that. I've never been saying that. I've never, I've never seen that. But that would have been out with the procurement process that we need to follow as a local authority. Remember the tenders for two, two buildings. So for the, uh, the, I think both of the buildings come to something like 1.69 or something. And was that the you first offer? Best value, so we take quality as well as cost, don't you? Thank you. Yes, sorry. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> so the officials raised the concern through the line managers who were having to come in to an environment whereby they may be recorded and that this information could then be used against them as some sort of line. And no, 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 no. no. All, the, all, all I'm saying is. All the I mean, it's absolutely scandalous, but this is the situation that we're in. Sorry. So, absolutely scandalous. I would prefer to have council officers here, obviously, because we would answer more of the questions. But the reality of the situation is they are where they are. This is the this is the decision taken by officers looking after their own staff. Okay. Uh, I'm about viewing MSP. Um, just a, a couple of points. I mean, I think it is uh, very discourteous that the council officials. A didn't turn up and B didn't have the courtesy to, to respond to Lorna to say they weren't coming. Uh, and, you know, they are there to serve you. They are public <coughs> servants. And I think it is very disrespectful of them because, to be fair to the councillors who have bothered to turn up for the second time in a row, there are many questions that actually are for the council officials to respond to. But we are who we are. I, I, have a, I, I had also written um, again to both the Chief Executive of the Council, Steve Grimmond, and to the Labour Council leader, David Ross, after the last meeting to seek clarification on two points. One of which was, if it was the case that the hard work put in by the community between the last meeting and this meeting, the three-week period, did not lead to agreement, what then was the position? Because the undertakings from the last meeting were that the process would be put on pause. The second point I raised was what was the extra bit of money that uh, I think Councillor Hood referred to. There had been a delegation that previous Monday with Alex Rowley to see David Ross and there might be a bit of extra money on the table. I've asked what was the bit of extra money on the table that is being talked about. I sent those letters on the 21st of November. I still haven't received any reply, although I've chased them up again uh, this morning. So uh, maybe one of the councillors could respond to the question about what bit of extra money is on the table because I think we're getting tonight different figures. We're getting the combined figure of 1.69 million. We've got the 1 million figure. Alex mentioned 1.3 million has been on the table. I think it would be really important for the community to know what bit of extra money there might be and what exactly the sum of money we are now talking about tonight, including 
uh, the 100k of fitting out uh, money we've now heard about that the Trust is holding. What is the total bit of money for this building? Yeah, yeah. So, we've only had the one, one million and we're only going to be able to leverage any additional funds in. Alec and I went and spoke to the leader and asked for an additional 300,000. So that brought up to 1.3. But we had already put in some, uh, and, and that added to what we, they already had for the football pavilion and the golf facilities. That, that came to the 1.69, which allowed us to then go ahead and tender for both the, uh, both buildings and move that ahead. So that's, that's okay, where we are. Just as a numbers. brief supplementary, that's really helpful, but the brief supplementary is at the meeting three weeks ago, you suggested that there had been another chat with David Ross and there might be a bit more money. So is there no more money? So, so that, that was based on the, on the idea that we had to change things like the cladding of the outside of the building. It was indicated to us at that point that there may be additional money required, and that could be in the order of up to £50,000. And at that point, David says well, that you know, we would be able to absorb that within our, our, our wider capital plan. But see, see what, what we did as a council is we did apply for RCGF funding for the visitor centre. This was an application that was submitted last year for uh, asking for an additional 400000 for the, uh, this was the RCGF funding for the Scottish Government, and that was not back at stage one. And part of the reason for that is, is because of this stage that we're trying to do just now is we're replacing one building with another. And a lot of the times when the Scottish Government or any of these funding bodies are actually pr wanting to provide more money, it's when you're doing something different from what you've already got. So they won't put money into a building. So, so upgrade the one I've got. But, but, see, see that's, that's the problem if we upgrade the one that we've got. We're still sitting with an old building which is maybe a wee bit, it, no, it's, no, it's not going to have the same scale. This is ridiculous. They're totally disrespecting us. Totally disrespecting us. And I think, I think something should be done about it. Is that a general view? Yeah. 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 Thank you very much. Yes, thank you.